Hey everybody, it's me Stacy here at Scrapbooking Made Simple with another YouTube mini class for you today. Now today we're going to be featuring products from Hot Off The Press and they have got some new beautiful papers out and some beautiful new toll decoupage type of embellishments that you put together. We've always called it decoupage because that's what we learned it as. Um, but Hot Off The Press calls it Toll, T-O-L-E. And so it's going to be a little hard for me to refer to it as that, but it's Paper Toll and it's beautiful and it's so simple. This was a make and take we did just recently in the store as a Keep It Simple Saturday because anybody can do it. It requires no die cuts, it requires no ink, it requires a few little pop dots, some, some uh, tape, some cards or your scrapbook layouts and easy peasy you are done. So I'm excited to bring that to you and we'd like to give a special shout out to Hot Off The Press who got us some of the CHA releases a little bit early. Thank you very much because as you know CHA Las Vegas is coming up and we will be leaving soon to go to Viva Las Vegas. <laughs> I haven't been to Las Vegas since before my children were born, I think. Oh my gosh. So we're going to be closed on July 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. And then what happens on July 26th? Can I hear it? Yay! <laughs> the shop that didn't hop sale and the warehouse sale featuring Sizzix. So we will be closed July 22nd, 23rd, 24th, and 25th. Some of those days will be in Vegas and what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas so I won't be able to share that with you. <laughs> but on July 25th, the Friday, we will, no, a Thursday, we'll be back in the store doing last minute preparations and then the doors open 9 a.m. July 26th for the shop that didn't hop sell where everything in our store is 20% off with the exception of a few items like the Copic markers and we have the warehouse sale featuring Sizzix at the same time where everything Sizzix is on sale. Now yes if you're an online shopper you can take advantage we'll have the sale going for all 17 days online and there'll be free gifts sent to you if you shop online. Uh, pin from us that says the shop that didn't hop with the evil queen and there's a make and take that's going to be sent to you and then if you're an in-store shopper of course you get all of those goodies plus a few more like a candied apple i've ordered a thousand candied apples i can't ship the candied apples i'm sorry guys <laughs> we're just not set up to do that <laughs> but we'll have one for you yum so it's a big event and we're so looking forward to it there have been questions about shipping are you still shipping? Yes, we're still shipping. We're shipping orders right now. We're shipping orders every day and we will continue to ship all current orders until or through the event. But any order placed on July 26th through August 11th, we won't be processing until until after the event, at least a week after the event. But if you've got an order in now or you place an order on July 21st or July 22nd or July 23rd, we are going to continue to ship those even through the event. We just won't start processing new orders that come in on July 26th until after the event, at least August 17th because the event goes through August 11th. So we need that week just to print all the orders. And as for the Sizzix Warehouse sale, just to make sure everybody understands, we have one inventory for in-store shoppers and we have a whole nother inventory for online shoppers. So online shoppers aren't competing with in-store shoppers and in-store shoppers aren't competing with online shoppers. We've got two separate inventory set up. Sizzix has been wonderful for us. They are holding a tremendous amount of product to be shipped to us as we run out and as we sell out, there'll be more coming in. They've done an amazing um, job working with Scrap looking made simple and a big shout out to them too. So we will be closed July 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, reopening July 26th for the Shop That Didn't Hop event and the warehouse sale featuring Sizzix. And hopefully next year maybe we can be a, a shop hop store. Maybe things will have changed by then. But if not, we're still going to do our thing and we encourage each and every one of you to go out there and support your independent retailers. Go support your mom and pops. And if you're a shop opera out there, have an amazing time. And while you're bebopping around, come and stop by Scrapbooking Made Simple because when you see my evil queen costume, it is fierce. It's being made. It's phenomenal. Now they're talking about having me sit on a throne. <laughs> they want me at a throne. Is that crazy? 
craziness. <laughs> okay, so I've got a little cheat sheet of what I'm supposed to talk about. Um, I talked about the shop that didn't hop warehouse sale. I talked about shipping time frames. If you place your order all the way up till the 26th, we will continue to process and ship those orders, but or up to the 25th. But once that 26th happens, any new orders won't be processed until after the event um, closed. 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, and reopen July 26th. And, oh, well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Now we have winner, winner, chicken dinner. Are we all ready? Yay! We had so many comments from the Heartfelt Creations e uh, YouTube. Thank you so much. That was just awesome. So I have picked uh, four winners, and I hope you're one of them. And if you're not, keep trying, keep trying. One day you'll be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. It was so funny. I posted a, um, we had a, a Facebook contest as well and I posted a chick, uh, chicken dinner <laughs> to announce the winner winner chicken dinners <laughs> okay are you ready drum roll if you are Marie Mack Judy Martinez Lisa Gobe Gobe G O B E A or Janet Brown if you are any of those three four 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 it's early still four girls yay congratulations you have won you are going to get some heartfelt creations you're gonna get some brilliance inks you're gonna get a little bit of stemple paint you've got a wonderful price package coming to you but what do you have to do you have to call Naomi and where are you gonna call her six six one two nine eight one 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 two and you're gonna say I'm a winner and give her all of your information and she will get your goodies right on out to you now if you're an international winner we understand you don't necessarily want to call us over here in the US although we'd love to talk to you I love hearing accents <laughs> um, but you can email us at ask a s k s m s at earthlink.net so ask sms at earthlink.net attention naomi and i'm a winner and send us all of your shipping information because international people qualify too you guys get mail why shouldn't you get prizes in the mail Woo! <laughs> okay so marie mack judy martinez lisa Gobi, and if i'm saying that wrong lisa Okay, I'm sorry. And Janet Brown, yay, congratulations. Give Naomi a call and claim your prizes. Now, I had something else on my little cheat sheet to talk about, and that's gift certificates. So for the next two YouTubes, I at least for the next YouTube, because I'm not sure if I'm gonna squeeze two of them in before the event starts, but your prize will not be what we're showing. You're not gonna win hot off the press stuff. I'm sorry, I think you'll like this better. For every 100 comments that we get on this YouTube, we're gonna give away a $25 gift certificate that you can spend during the shop that didn't hop and the Sizzix Warehouse sale. Yes, for every 100 comments. That means for every 100 people, there is a winner, winner, chicken dinner, $25 gift certificate to shop at the shop that didn't hop sale and the warehouse sale featuring Sizzix. And I mean, there's dyes starting at like a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, 25 bucks could get you easily three or four dyes if you're a dye or, or um, it could get you like four sets of embossing folders, almost five sets of embossing folders for 25 bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're not a die cutter or an embosser, you can spend it during the shop that didn't hop sell because all the product online will be 20% off. So except for Copics. Um, so uh, that sounds like a wonderful gift. I think that's an awesome prize and I hope you guys enjoy it. And that's what we're going to do for at least this YouTube. I'm going to try and squeeze one more in before CHA before we leave for Las Vegas and we'll be doing gift certificates then too if I if I can get that YouTube in so you get to make your own prize you get to pick your own prize how exciting is that <laughs> all right well those are my those are my announcements for today and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get started and I'm gonna show you all about hot off the press and their new paper and their new toll and just a whole bunch of yummies okay down we go bye all right how's that i think that's pretty good yeah okay so we have got new product from hot off the press this is what they call toll these are individual die cut items which means you don't have to have a die cut machine you don't have to have a sizzix big shot or a cuddle bug and toll 
I'm not exactly sure what it means. Maybe one of you can email me that. But we think of it as decoupage because what you do with these items is you layer them one on top of the other to create a 3D beautiful embellishment. Now, Hot Off the Press has toll in foil and they have toll in non-foil. So this happens to be the foil Gypsy Roses and or Gypsy Jewel Flowers and this is one of the new CHA releases. Yay! Thank you! And from this you would be able to make three different flower sets. So here's one, here's two, here's three. You can do three different flowers or maybe there's even more than that. Maybe there's one, two, three, four, five, six six different flowers and what's nice about it is that you don't have to have a die cutting machine and you don't have to try and hand cut these and the foil paper really is just beautiful. Now we've done decoupage or toll before with Ruby Rocket but what Hot Off the Press does that's a little bit different than the Ruby Rocket is they make everything to coordinate. So not only can you get the toll but then they have matching paper packs and these are the paper packs that we did for National Scrapbook Day that were half price. Now they're going to be, everything on this one's going to be 20% off. So all of your YouTube yummies on this one's going to be 20% off. But these are paper packs and you get 12 sheets. Ooh, I hope you can see that. 12 sheets to a paper pack and they all coordinate. And what's nice about it is on the back, on most of them, it shows you what else goes with that paper pack. It shows you the items that coordinate with it and it even gives you some awesome little card samples and some scrapbook page layout samples all on the packaging. I really like that you can now just get the paper that coordinates with the toll, that coordinates with, um, ooh, Stacy, my butterfly got caught, with their other die cuts and punch outs and no matter what paper you use or how you use it it's all going to work together as long as it coordinates from the same set. That's easy peasy for me. That's so easy. I love it. You don't have to think okay I've got this these beautiful flowers but now what paper am I going to use? You've got a huge selection. Out of those 12 sheets you get six different patterns and I want to show you how the paper comes comes, it unfolds, it comes in a 12 by 12 pack, but it unfolds like this. This is actually two different sheets. And all you do is break it right down the middle. It's all ready for you to be made into two 12 by 12 sheets. But everything that goes with this coordinates. As you can see, the flowers look lovely with no matter what paper I'm going to use. And with six different pattern papers, you've got a huge choice. So I like that about the hot off the press. Not only are they giving you the beautiful decoupage, but then they've incorporated the paper and other coordinating toll items to go with it. Now, toll items, how do you do this? This is so fast. Ooh, I went blurry. This is so fast and so simple. I hope, sorry about that guys. I think the lens had a minute of, I don't know what to focus on. <laughs> Kind of like me at the end of the day. <laughs> I don't know what to focus on. The, the toll is very easy. It comes with little numbers. You have one, two, three, four. It's just that simple. You pop them out. They're die cut for you already. So they just easy peasy pop right on out. Now, some people want to be sure that they don't have any little nubbies. I have to tell you that the hot off the press pop out beautifully because they're die cut. There's no little extra nubbies connecting it. But if you were using a decoupage or a toll that did have a few little attachment nubbies sticking off the side, what you would do is take your sandit gadget and you just give a very quick little smooth buff over it and it would take away that piece, at, um, that little nubby that you don't want. So I've popped out my number one. Now I'm going to go to my number two and it has the number two right there. I'm going to pop that out. And number two lays right on top of number one. All you got to do is line it up. Let's see, let's look for the one that's got the big, is that it? Oh, that's it. All you've got to do is line it up. Now, I don't want to tape it flat. Oh, I'm still not lined up perfect. 
Oh, there we go. I don't want to lay it flat because that's not the point of the toll. The point is to offer dimension. So we have uh, candy fix-its. These are tiny, tiny little pop dots, and I mean they're tiny. They're the smallest little squares. You see those little squares in there? They are uber tiny. This is what we recommend when you're using toll. It gives you height, but when you're using really small little pieces, they hide beautifully. So I'm gonna take my number two. Oh, and I just lost my little place where it was fitting in perfectly, huh? Oh, that's not it. Go back one. Nope. Ah, Stacy. I lost my little place. Or I lined it up just beautifully. Okay, now there's only six of these, so I, uh, there's only six petals, so it's got to fit somewhere. There it is. Okay, so I'm just going to flip that right over like that. I'm going to take my little candy dots, and this is where tweezers come in to be a big help, because these are so small. So I've got the Elizabeth Craft tweezers. They're $5. Look at that fine tip. Can you see that fine tip on them? They work great with peel-offs. They work great with the itty-bitty, tiny little... Um, dots and I'm gonna put my little candy pop dots down now my personal feeling is you don't need to have 40 of them on one little flower one on each little petal is enough and one in the center that's my feeling they're your pop dots and you get 440 of them for $1.95. So you've got lots of pop dots. If you want to put a pop dot everywhere, if you want to cover the whole back of it with pop dots, that's okay. You can do that. Then you just take your little tweezers and you pull off your, your tops. And sometimes the tweezers are much easier to get a start on those little tops to get off. So I'm just taking off my little, oh, I pulled my whole thing off, my tweezer to get this guy off. They just give a little help getting it underneath the first, the little corner. There we go. Okay, so I've pulled off all my little pop dots. Now I'm going to hope that I'm going to flip it around and it's going to fit, but I think I moved it again. I'm going to line it on up. Oh, I did. I moved it again. Oh. And, well, we're going to go with it. And I'm going to lay it down. Oh, okay. And now I've got the beginning of my dimension. So the next one I'm going to take is number three. It says number three. Right there. I'm going to pop out. Number three, same thing, put a couple pop dots. This one I'm just going to put in the center so we can get it done and show you. And I'm going to line it on up and I'm going to pop it down. Then we're going to go to number four. It says number four. Pop it on out. And line it on up. Again, another little pop dot. And what I'm creating is almost like my own Jolie. If you guys remember Jolies, they've been around forever and they're always a three-dimensional sticker. I'm creating my own little Jolie. Line it up. Give it a pop. And now I have created a beautiful flower that has dimension. Can you see the dimension in there? It's got dimension. It's not flat at all. It draws your eye right into it, and because of the foil, it's just gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Oh, and they even gave me a, an extra little leaf if I want to put a leaf on. I can pop up. If I have the desire, I can use a little leaf and add that somewhere and pop it up onto something so I have a little dimension on my leaf. But they're so easy. It's as easy as counting one, two, three. And the dimension is beautiful. Now these are the foil tolls. And again, with the foil, this one, the Gypsy Jewel Flowers, gives you one, two, three, 
for five different flowers, it looks like. At least five different flowers that you can make out of one package. I think that's really great. I really like that. That's a lot you get for your money. And they're just so pretty. But let's say you're not into necessarily the foil. That's okay. They make, pending on the collection, they make tulle or decoupage that isn't foiled at all. But it still coordinates with all the paper. So this is the Gypsy Jewels and this is the 3D paper tulle. It's not foiled, but it absolutely coordinates with all the paper in the Gypsy Jewel collection. Now I already started one down here. I did that one down there and it's exactly the same thing. You're going to start with number one and you're just going to pop it out. Look at how easy that just pops out. Can you imagine having your kids do this or for a craft at the senior center where everybody can take part? You don't have to pull. You don't have to tug. Anybody with arthritic hands is going to be okay doing this. It's easy because they just have to follow the numbers and somebody can be there to help with younger kids if need be to follow the numbers. It's not difficult. So I've popped my, I've got my one and my two. I would take my candy dots. Again, put them right on the back. I'm just going to take one so we can show you, so I can get it on there. Take my tweezers and get that little top piece off and you just line it up. You just lay it right over the top and line it up. Then I would move to my number two, which is some, oh, that was my number two. I moved to my number three, which is one of the stars, and so on and so forth, until I have finished my embellishment. Now, I did this one down here, and it's really cute. So you can see all the dimension that I've added, all the dimension, and everything is popped up. And how cute would this be on a card for happy birthday? But maybe you want to do more to it. I get that. That's where some stickles comes in. Stickles, for those of you who are unaware, stickles is a glitter glue. It's the best glitter glue. It really rocks. You can use it as an adhesive, but of course it's got glitter on it, so you want to kind of use it to make everything shine and bling. So this time I would take a little bit of my stickles and I would just put it right over the top of my star and with my finger I would just give a little bit of a brush and what that's going to do I am using stardust any of the transparents stardust or crystal or diamond any of those colors are going to give you um, it's going to keep the color underneath of the paper but it's going to add just a little bit of bling to what you're working on any of those transparents will do it dries, and then when it's dry, you've got some cute bling on your, on your stars. Stickles is really good and really easy that way. And it just dresses things up a little bit, just makes it a little bit more, ooh! <laughs> So that's another thing I like about the hot off the press paper tool is that You've got the really gorgeous foil, and it really is gorgeous. It absolutely is. And you could come in here, and you could start bending these. You don't have to, by any means, keep them flat. You could get in there, take a little pencil, roll them a little bit. Easy to do. You could even take your tweezers and give a little tweak and a little roll. Easy to do. You don't have to keep them flat but it has a beautiful foil. But if you don't need foil, if you're not looking for that much pizzazz, they also make the paper toll, which is just so cute and so pretty. And I mean, there's the bicycle. How cute is that? You pop the bicycle out and then you pop this piece on top of that and those on top of here and the little flowers on top of the basket. And you've made your own embellishment for your scrapbook pages, for your altered art, for your cards. And it's fast, it's simple, and you've got the coordinating paper to go with it. And if you want to add a little more to those simple um, paper tools, you just grab out your stickles and go have at it. Super fun. So I have got another one here I wanted to show you. Let's see where this card is almost done. This time we took one of their die cuts. Now this is another collection, let's see, 
This is part of the... This is for, part of the uh, Painted Flowers Pack. So the Painted Flowers Pack. So it comes with beautiful paper. Again, it's 12 sheets of paper and you get six of each on the back. It shows you the paper that you get. And again, they give you samples on the back, just some rough samples of some cards and then the things that come with it, that coordinate with it. So I've got the Painted Flower Pack and this time, not only does it have the toll, and I can't seem to find where I put, oh, here it is. Not only does it have the beautiful toll that shimmers and shines, which is same as this, this time it has die cuts. Now these don't necessarily layer on top of each other. They're just used as accents. And that's what we've done with this card here. We use the paper and we use the die the die cut and again pops right out easy to do no scissors necessary that's why the kids can do it you don't even have to have scissors to get this done they just pop out and you can just stick them on top if you have foam tape you can use that we just like the candy dots because they're so small and kind of inconspicuous but whatever you've got at home go ahead and try and use it we popped this die cut right out and we popped the, the butterfly right there to make this card all coordinated with the paper and again maybe you want to bling it up that's okay I've got my stickles I'm gonna take my stickles and I've got my yellow and I'm just gonna put a little bit on my butterfly where the yellow is and you can either take um, a q-tip or your finger doesn't have to be an expensive tool if you've got an old paintbrush around because I'm just going to move that yellow into the uh, on top of it just so it spreads around a little bit put a little bit of yellow on the bitty butterfly which also comes in the pack because all I want to do is just add that just that hint of little bling and with the stickles it does that just a little bit of bling I hope this comes through I can't tell but just so pretty with a little bit of bling. And all we did was cut the paper, pop out the die cut, stick them onto um, our card, add a little bit of ribbon, and put an Elizabeth Crafts sentiment. So simple. That's why it was called Keep It Simple Saturday. <laughs> when we do Keep It Simple Saturday, it's got to be easy. <laughs> no die cutting really, no stamping, because everybody should be able to feel like they are a uh, able to accomplish this. They're successful with this. And with the hot off the press, how they've coordinated everything, they've made it just that simple. Now I've got another one. Here's the, here's the toll, the, the foil toll. And here's the card sample that we did. Can you look at that? Ooh, ooh, it's almost like a firework. <laughs> Special effects. <laughs> SMS is going 3D. <laughs> On this one, we went ahead and we took the Viva Decor Pearl Pen. And for those of you who are not familiar with the Viva Decor Pearl Pen, this is a self-leveling pen. It makes pearls. You can make pearls in any size you want. And what's nice about it is when you do the little tip, when you put it down and you make your little pearl, it doesn't give you that little candy kiss tip that a lot of pearl products do when you're trying to make your own pearls. This self levels to a really nice dome and you can make the pearls in any size you want. In fact, this is my craft mat. I could take and I could make little pearls on here and just make little pearls. And then when they dry, I could scrape them off and put them into a little baggie and use them later with a little pop dot. But I can make a pearl in any size that I want and it's going to self-level and self-dome. I know that's probably far away for you to see, but it, trust me, they're there and they're self-leveling. And then when they dry, I could just scrape them off and put them in a little Ziploc baggie and use them later. Really great product from Viva Decor. And the pearl pins come in, I want to say, 14 colors. But that's what we did here is we just took a little bit of a pearl pin and we made little pearls in the center of our uh, toll there or our decoupage. And that, again, was using the painted flowers. So with Hot Off the Press, what can you do? You can use the die cuts if the collection comes with the die cuts. 
you can use the coordinating paper because all the collections we're going to have for you has the coordinating paper. You can use the foil toll and you can use the paper toll all together. You can mix and match and just make them fabulous all together. You can put some of the foil with some of the cute little pieces from the paper. You just, you can have at it because you're confident in knowing as long as it's from the same collection, it's all going to match. So I want to show you some of the other collections that we have and we have a lot of them. So I just randomly grabbed a few. This happens to be one of the newer ones. This is called Stolen Moments. I love the megaphone, the old fashioned megaphone. I love that. So this is very vintagey, and the paper is just lovely. Great for guy cards too, the paper. And this paper pack is $6.99 and it'll be 20% off. And then the toll it comes with. Then we have got the Heritage Collection. Beautiful butterflies. The butterflies are absolutely gorgeous. And it coordinates with the Heritage Paper Pack. Let's see if I can turn it around. Again, great guy cards. The colors of the papers are awesome. And they give you just wonderful samples. Wonderful samples on the back, including layout pages if you're a scrapbooker. So you scrap lift. It's okay. Why reinvent the wheel, right? <laughs> One of my favorites is Botanical Etchings. How can you not love that? Is that gorgeous? The flowers and the butterflies and the birds, they're just beautiful. And then the coordinating paper. Look at how lovely is that. And then the one we used for our make and take is, do I have it down here? Yes. The one we did for the make and take is the picnic collection. So the picnic has the paper. The little strawberry paper is so cute. Love the paper. In fact, here is, here's a sample of the strawberry paper. How cute is that? Isn't that just so summery and fresh? Really darling. So it has the paper, it has the foil toll, and it has the die cut sheets. All as a collection, all ready to go. And these actually come with double-sided, so you get two of everything. All ready to go. Everything coordinates. If you have a friend or if you know somebody who's beginning card making, beginning scrapbooking, this is a wonderful gift to give because it's just put together. There's not a lot of thinking. You can add to it and you can embellish on it, but you've got a good grounded starting place. You're not trying to figure out what, what papers work with what it's there for you. So we really like it for that. The new collection I just showed was the Gypsy. Gypsy Jewels is what we've been playing with. And then also I really like this collection. It's called Music and Roses. I really, really, really like this collection. It's so pretty. It's just, it's just pretty. <laughs> That's the only way I can say it. Look at the papers. They're just pretty. And it would be beautiful for any kind of a layout. For a girl, a baby girl, or a little girl, it's good for Mother's Day. It's good for, uh, it's just, it, I can't see ever not being able to use this paper. If you are you took a trip to Paris, ooh, wee oui, wee, oui, I love this paper for that. <laughs> so that is what we've been playing with today. I have got oodles of samples to show you. I want to get started doing that. So again, you're going to remember that the decoupage or the tool is just as easy as one, two, three. You start and you punch out your number one, and then you place your number two on your number one, and then your number three onto your number two. So as long as you can count, you've got it. And because they punch out so easily, they are absolutely perfect for um, anybody who might have a little trouble with their hands, anybody who may have a little arthritis um, 
and have a little trouble because they really do just I mean just a gentle little tug and they're out so no straining no die cutting no cutting at all no scissors needed and you just pop that out pop this one out take a little foam tape or your candy fix-its because really 440 but, uh, dots for a dollar 95 you can't go wrong pop it right on top and you've made a lovely lovely embellishment okay let's show you some samples so we've got this one here where again we've added a little bit of stickles just to add a little bit of bling the one I already showed you where we added the pearls in the center we've got the butterfly that we did by just adding a touch of stickles and this was using the die cut sheet out of the painted flowers collection here we've got another and really very little embellishing to these and we just added an Elizabeth Crafts happy birthday it doesn't require a lot of extra things isn't that beautiful who wouldn't want to get that in the mail and then we've got some that we did with the picnic collection because that's the one we used for the ooh, I taped them together that's the one we used for the make and take is that so cute now what I like about the picnic collection is that this little piece here comes blank so you can put your own sentiment but if you don't have anything to put there's one underneath it that says uh, something sweet or some, uh, something like that it has its own sentiment so you can either use your own or you can use the one they give you and this is using the picnic again both of these are from the same collection they look entirely different but from the exact same collection and this is using the die cut sheets out of it where we just use, popped out the die cuts taped them down and used the little bits and pieces no extra embellishing needed we've got best wishes and again this and this came out of the same collection and we've got happy birthday all using the foil tool I love this one the thinking of you using the die cut sheet from picnic and the thank you and last but not least using one of the banners that come in the die cut sheet remember I did this banner how cute is that against a card here you can see a banner that just popped right out and put right down this one we popped up and embellished because it came with little things but how cute would that be on a card okay so that's what we've learned today we've learned a lot about hot off the press and how their paper toll really works together with all the other products they make they coordinate it for you so you don't have to you can get right to crafting right away a little bit of stickles or a little bit of the Viva Decor Pearl Pin it really goes a long way and it just adds that little extra finishing touch if that's what you're looking for we do recommend the pearl pin over every other pearl pin out there because it's self leveling and it doesn't leave that little candy kiss tip at the top and stickles well ranger just makes a phenomenal product and stickles is one of them you can use it as an adhesive if you want it's a glitter glue but we use it to of course add a little bling a little touch to everything and we think it's awesome okay we have used the candy fix it dots and again 440 dots for a buck 95 but of course these are all going to be on a YouTube yummy the hot off the press is going to be on sale the pearl pins are going to be on sale the stickles is going to be on sale and where are you going to get all of this well I'm going to tilt on up and I'm going to tell you <laughs> you're going to get all of this at our online store when that happens to be www.shop at sms.com the word shop the word at sms.com or scrapbooking dash made dash simple.com so you can shop online it'll all be 20 percent off or you can come and visit me come see the sms girls come see the mess we've got if you saw the back room and all the sizzix that's back there it's like an explosion <laughs> and we're not anywhere near done but if you want to come visit come visit and you can pick up all your goodies right here in this shop so online www.shop at sms.com or come in store and of course like I said all the YouTube yummies will be 20% off and for our winner winner chicken dinner Lisa 
Gobi Janet Brown. Uh oh, I lost my other sheet of paper. Marie Mack and Judy Martinez. Give Naomi a call, 661-298-1112, and claim your winnings. And now that you've watched this YouTube, it's time for you to post a comment. Go leave a comment because next week we're going to do gift certificates for the winners where you get to pick your price and you can use it during the shop that didn't hop sell and the Sizzix or the warehouse sale featuring Sizzix and uh, really make that $25 go a long way. Okay? All right, so everybody, this is Stacy at Scrapbooking Made Simple saying, Hopefully I see you next week. I'm going to try and fit one more in before we leave for CHA, and I'm hoping it's going to be a super good one. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.